Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. I am back with my final thoughts on this beautiful little spinner known as the Zentri Nano. And I am not gonna give you guys a spin time video because I foresee that this video will be shorter than the spin time video. Simply because I'm getting easily 4.5 to 5 minute spins with this guy on a two-handed table spin. I kid you not. In a nutshell, my impressions on this guy has lasted all the way throughout. I had it on my EDC for the past one and a half weeks and I simply could not put this guy down. I really had a great experience with this spinner and fidgeting with it is just absolute fun. It doesn't matter which grip, it doesn't matter how you fidget with it. Even if you fidget with two hands or if you do some funny stuff like that, it is really comfortable. Every edge here is so well cut out, it's big and flat enough and it's finished well enough that it doesn't cause any discomfort whatsoever. Now I could simply end the video right here, right now and say that's my final thoughts on this spinner. But I decided that would not be nice to you guys, right? So here's a little bit more information I want to share with you guys about it. Now, coming from a spinner enthusiast perspective, I love changing my buttons up on spinners. But the problem is, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you if you want to swap out buttons on this. Now, don't get me wrong, these buttons are absolutely awesome. Raja over at Fidget HQ did a great job with the Kong buttons. I'll put them aside. Now, I want you guys to look at the shape of the raised edges. Now these actually are the cause of concern. Most other button alternatives are a little bit wider so they don't sit within this radius right here. They actually touch the raised edges and that means that you're not going to be able to close them down all the way so they would not work. At the same time, most spinners with buttons that are actually smaller than the usual buttons nowadays come from spinners that don't have a core. So that means they are press fit. So because this actually is a core, it would not fit as well. So that's kind of unfortunate. One more thing I want to mention to you guys is that you notice the core cap is actually sitting a little bit lower than the spinner frame itself. That means that the button location is a little bit off center in terms of this direction. Now, in order for me to demonstrate this, I'm going to have to put the lights all the way up to the maximum brightness because yeah, if not, you're not going to be able to see it carefully. So please bear with me, guys. Now, this part of the video might take a little bit longer because I want to be really thorough with you guys. But here is the female half of the button and I'm going to install it on the flush half of the spinner, the flush side, I should say. Then grab the male half of the button and install it onto the screw cap side of the spinner. And that's tight already. Now I'm going to bring it closer and you guys can have a look at the gap right there. See that? More gap on the bottom end yeah, than the top. Now I'm going to undo the buttons and swap sides so you guys know it's fair. Female half of the button on the screw cap side of the spinner. Male half of the button on the flush side of the spinner. There we go. And now you see that the gap is more on the flush side still. So it's not about the button, it's about the way the spinner is made. Because this screw cap retention is actually sitting inside lower than the actual spinner frame itself. So that's a little bit different from most other spinners that actually have this screw cap bearing retention method. Since we were talking about buttons, only other button that I managed to find that would fit were the Spinetic standard size buttons. These actually go on pretty nicely, gives you a much flatter profile if you guys are into that, if you don't want such a pronounced dish. But that's what it is and yes, it still enables you to table spin because you can tell that the buttons are more raised than the raised edges itself. So basically out of all the other button options that I had, only Spinetic Spinner's buttons were able to fit onto the Zentri Nano. Yeah, one more was the Sol Spin buttons. But the Sol Spin buttons are really, really close to the Kong button. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an alternative. You know what I mean? And last but not least, there is something else that I want to share. I did not carry this around in my pouch. I used one of these. This is actually a holster that is sold on premium spinners by Polaris AT and it was originally made for the Troika Minim. But look at what a perfect fit this is for the Zentri Nano. You guys just check that out. It's so small, so discreet, and it just goes onto your keychain so beautifully. So I carried this around on my keychain like that. Really easy, just unbutton, get it out, fidget with it, then put it back in, just slip it on right there, and then just close up the button. And this was really the way I carried it around. Just And this was an awesome gift to me by Alex Golden of premium spinner so thank you alex here's my final verdict on the zentri nano guys going for just 27 us dollars this thing is an absolute steal and an absolute beast for what it is 
Very small size, very comfortable. It is slightly bigger than most nano spinners, but way smaller than most standard size spinners nowadays. So it makes for a very, very interesting in between size for spinners. Next is the actual build quality. This thing is made very well and it's very nicely finished as well. I mentioned to you guys before that these edges over here are very, very nicely done. And all over it, it features a nice brushed finish. I really, really like it. Now the Zantri Nano has gotten so popular that it is now available in different options. You actually have stainless steel black. You actually have raw stainless steel, which is this one. You have a rainbow version of the stainless steel. You have a brass version, a copper version. In fact, there's two copper versions. One in, I believe, a machine finish and one in a mirror finish. And then you also have the titanium finish. Now, the titanium one is going to cost you about 65 US and the rest are about 37 or 37.99. But here's a cool little fact. Very soon, you'll actually be having this available in Damascus steel, guys. Damascus steel. What in the world? Raja, I cannot wait. I'm gonna grab myself a Damascus Steel Zentri Nano for sure. You guys can count on it. And if Raja's gonna offer more than one variation of the Damascus Steel, I'm gonna get one of each variation. As always, links in the video description below. Make sure you go check them out, fidgethq.com. Two thumbs up to Raja for a wonderful design like this. I think it's a very, very cool spinner. Something that I really enjoy and so far I haven't heard anyone actually complain about this. And we've come to the end of the video. Thanks for watching everyone and I hope that I provided enough information for you to decide whether or not the Zentri Nano is a spinner for you. It is a spinner for me, for sure. And this is a keeper. Basically, that's all. I don't really have much else to say. Catch y'all in the next slice of my life. Bye everyone. Bye.